Welcome back to Let's Play Skyward Sword. Today we are tackling the sand ship. Yar. Anyway, back to the non-pirate activities. <laughs> First thing we're going to do is go in here and see the door with the key. So we got to go find a key. <laughs> I like it. First things first, go in here. <laughs> it's like, wow, really? Ball Ray, we got babies again. Oh, right in the eye. <laughs> Intentionally. <laughs> Why are there butterflies on a sunken ship? I don't know. Just show us this. And I believe I take the opportunity to uh, draw something different this time. Let's see what it is. Is it a... I'm gonna guess. No, I just want cash. <laughs> <laughs> I'd make a Twilight Zone reference again, but it's been done to death already. I'm gonna get the cookbook! Okay. <laughs> At least that one actually looks like a rupee. Yeah, this time it did. The other one just looked like a lump. <laughs> you just gave that wallet to her. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it's over there. Rupee wow, and dust. I already don't like this place. <laughs> it's kind of for a sand ship. It looks kind of boring on the inside. Well, it's it was intended just as a traveling ship. And in fairness, it does look like a place where people would spend time while going out on the water. But in practice, that of course means a lot of empty space and a lot of going all the way to the back of the ship, then going all the way back. And there's random sand pits inside of a ship. <laughs> and there's a dungeon, apparently. Or we need a dungeon key. So I wonder what kind of item we can get that would be both ship-related and sand-related. Well, keep your hopes up, because we're not getting anything like that. <laughs> I've got high hopes. <laughs> God, I love those things. <laughs> you say right as I kill it. <laughs> if I had a plushie of those things, I wouldn't mind. Mainly just because the war before it jumps on, it has this like, boy, oh boy, I'm going to pride on his face, oh boy. Your favorite room. I would just run in there and snuggle all of them. <laughs> you know that whole vision you have about snuggling a bunch of puppies? I mean, come on. And this is why I like the scatter shot. I think it was made specifically for rooms like these. This is why I hate the scatter shot now. <laughs> that day, many younglings were killed in the George Lucas world. See the sound cute? Don't, I feel awful about this. Who's this new friend we have? <laughs> okay, I'll die, I guess. <laughs> this reminds me a bit of the innocent spider meme. Oh, yeah. Where it's just like, you know, hey, friend, would you like to, uh, I'll just sit in this corner and not bother you. Or you can spray me in the face with, uh, with a, with a Windex. That's, that's cool, I guess. I like how they're just hiding out in little puff things. Oh, hey. <laughs> I like how he's like, please look. <laughs> for fuck's sake, look. <laughs> for, for some, I know you wouldn't look at this unless I told you, so fucking just look over there. <laughs> hey, look, it's an engine. No, wait. It's one of those teeth things. It's a uh, Beemos. Beemos sounds like a robot in the 80s. <laughs> for some reason. I like the slingshot in this game, I have to admit. Especially compared to the one Twilight Princess that lost all functionality like 10 minutes in. Well, you kind of have to give the slingshot a reason to be around after the first dungeon. Even in this one? Pretty much. Though they do like to try to find ways to force you to use it. <laughs> force it with joy. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> I'm not even killing at this point, I'm just blowing on him. Just just for you. That's an acceptable measure. Because there's not attacking you in any form. See? Can you do it again, mister? Yay! <laughs> I just imagine you blowing wind, there's just a homeless man underneath the sand. Bzzzert. <laughs> <laughs> that was my blanket. He just carves itself with one of those scorpions. <laughs> <laughs> It's a homeless ancient robot. This is my home, sir. <laughs> I 
sir, faggot. <laughs> Excuse me, sir? No, 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 no. <laughs> so I assume that these little shapes on the floor indicate some way to open the door on the other side. But do we have any kind of tools to actually move the things to the ground? Uh, no, we just follow the pattern and learn where we're going. There we go. <laughs> oh, I get it, the door. <laughs> it's another one of these, uh, hitting puzzles. The Konami, I tried the Konami code, it did, it doesn't work. <laughs> the Konami code doesn't work in a Nintendo game? That's insane. I was actually really confused by this at first, not just because of that. Uh, because I didn't know the orientation of the little uh, wheels on the bottom. Um, on like on the uh, each side of the door are examples of the wheels, and you can they have little red lines on the bottom, so that gives you the orientation of them. Hmm. And it's just up to you to figure out the order. And it's mostly in order from one room to when you go in. But how do you know which one's first and which one's second? You know which one's first because it's in. It's the only one in the room as the uh, the lock. And the wow. other three, I guess you just... You, you, it's easy, it's not too hard to figure out once you know which one they are. <laughs> it's not too hard, I just can't explain it. Well, it's, it's true. <laughs> I should just catch one of those in a jar. And then you can make a delicious, cute potion out of it. <laughs> For reference, I think I recorded this in 2012. Right before the world ended. Yeah. <laughs> Remember when the world ended, guys? It was nuts, wasn't it? There were whales and dead ones, too. But no giant scorpions. Would have been great if we had one of those. I know, because we would have killed it so easily. Giant baby scorpions. Oh, <laughs> you're 50 feet tall. <laughs> Oh, you just stabbed my dog. <laughs> Aw, is that aggro? <laughs> I'm helping! <laughs> Are you eating it? <laughs> nom nom nom. So yeah, this is kind of how the uh, dungeon plays out. Go all the way to the end, find a key, go all the way back, open door. But hey, mini boss time. Excitement, hype level's just so high. Well, kind of. It's a robot pirate. He's pretty badass looking. Is it a bird? Oh. <laughs> I thought it was a bird on a perch, but it happened to have legs. Electric pirate robot. Zombie ja pirate robot. Jamaican. From Jamaica. <laughs> Quit swinging your sword, man! And trying to knock it off the plank, obviously. Yep. That's always awesome. No, this would be easier if I had my shield, but... Well, you know. So, mainly all I'm doing is... <laughs> hitting him, and he uh, telegraphs his attacks pretty easily at this point. I just need to knock him over to the end. That won't kill him immediately, but he will drop his sword. And now we are in the second of three phases. And then that pulls up, so now I have less space to fight him. And he gets a little bit tougher and a little bit faster each time. He was just playing with you at that point. He just wanted to steal your booty. In general. In general. I don't know if um, the jump attack is just extra effective against him when, like, say I attack him and he gets to the point where he's clearly falling over. I just like to do the jump attack, and I like to imagine that it's uh, forcing him back even more. It's just fun. See, I never cared for those that inconsistency sometimes with bosses where sometimes they would flinch and sometimes they won't. And this guy kind of follows that example that sometimes when he hit him he does flinch, other times he just falls through with an attack. He kind of pick or pick one or the other, to be honest. He'd make him hard to hit and flinch, or really easy to hit and he doesn't flinch at all. Because otherwise, you just kind of fake yourself out, and then he can just hit you. Did his arms get blown off? <laughs> <laughs> yep. So he's going to fight me with his hook, and he can electrify the hook. Yarbs. <laughs> Bzarr. I like how this world's kind of made up of not only electric things, but everything's like robots and stuff like that. Whoa. He's stupid. Yep. Like most pirates. Like most pirates, he's into sodomy. <laughs> Glad it's honest. That's why I heard most pirates end up being were former Navy soldiers that were most often kicked out of the uh, out of the Navy because of sodomy. That's why they're always looking for booty. 
And looking for death, apparently. And that's the end of the brave pirate zombie electric robot. Sodomist. Sodomist. <laughs> <laughs> I think his name was Scurvo. <laughs> you have scurvy now! <laughs> Way to go! <laughs> I can imagine cough, cough! <laughs> That took a good amount of health off of you, too. Mm -hmm. Alright! My favorite weapon ever. <laughs> Goodbye, slingshot. We hardly cared. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> just, I just imagine you look at screen. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Shooting your fingers to the air. Woo! <laughs> Bigger bang, bang, you. <laughs> I think you're mouth matching what you're doing and just randomly having spots, you're like, ah. <laughs> With a bow and arrow, you can shoot things! I know, zany! <laughs> now, the bow and arrow can only be controlled in the first person. So, like, um... Now, uh, like I mentioned before, this means uh, you can't use it in, uh, like, you can't Z-target any enemies, but they do add something interesting with it in the way where you, uh, you draw the bow, and I'll show that in a little bit. Just healing for a second there. I like how there's that one chair there. Why wouldn't they have a Z-target mechanic for that? That's just silly. I don't know. They, I think they really want to emphasize the motion control aspect of it. <laughs> but nobody likes motion controls. Haven't they figured this out yet? Well, they'd kind of arsed it with Twilight Princess. They hadn't fully learned yet. And the game was still more fun. And better. Now, the, the game kind of prompted me to go out uh, onto the mast. I'm actually getting... <laughs> I'm getting a bit ahead at this point. I'm not supposed to be down here. We love the unorthodox breaking the rules kind of thing. Yeah, what I'm doing is going into this... into these rooms and to this side. Actually, I think it's on the other, like, on the other uh, adjacent room. Um, I'm actually going to be turning on the engine of the ship. To do that, I have to get this out of the way. <laughs> oh, my hernia. <laughs> <laughs> then when I get on this... Bow and arrow time. Bow and arrow time. That's a really weird way to start a, a boat up. Which one of you are master archers? There are actually two ways you can draw a bow, and I accidentally stepped off the switch. One nice thing, you can walk while you're in first person, at least. I don't know what happened there. Come on. Come in. There we go. But uh, there are two ways to draw the bow. You can hold A to pull it down really slowly and watch it charge up, or you can hold down C on the nunchuck and jerk it back, and it'll instantly charge up, and then it'll be at full strength. The only thing about the motion control system is that if you're anything like me when you're using it, the reticle is shaky as shit. <laughs> it's like that old man that was in Two Towers that was that accidentally started the war because he's like, I'm old and I can't hold this bow. Nerd references, look it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll forget. Oh, that's fine. And here we have another sword stabby machine. <laughs> Again, who's running this ship? Well, the robots, but they're all dead. <laughs> Pirate robots, I guess? Because they have things that run on swords and bows and sodomy. <laughs> Only can assume, of course. So I opened that door early. I can't get to it yet because I need to go out uh, on top of the ship to uh, activate a time shift crystal. It's another time shift dungeon. And um, the reason I kind of uh, broke sequence there is because when the time shift stone is activated, those little holes that you shot the arrows through have fans activated, and you can't shoot through them. If I might ask, having a temple with the same mechanic as another one, would you say that's as a, a detriment? Uh, it gets a little annoying, but uh, luckily, that time shift stone can be accessed for pretty much every room in the entire uh, dungeon. There's always one hole or some relatively quick way to get back up to activate it. Did Fee just say there's a 50% chance that was the time shift stone? <laughs> 50? We've seen a million of these things. And activated. 
funny how time only really got rid of the paint job. <laughs> and now all the pirates are alive. And they locked the time shift stone. <laughs> this was their plan all along. <laughs> and most of them are archers. But luckily, one arrow is an instant kill. And I love that. And you have a lot better shot than they are. <laughs> I like just walking around first person. Blink, the FPS. <laughs> It'd be kind of cool if you could, if it's really from his eye perspective, so you see, like, the bridge of his nose. <laughs> <laughs> I got one arrow. Yay. The goblins are all over that thing. Not really doing much, though. They're just like, who is that? Is he one of our guys? He killed, like, three of our guys. It still doesn't say anything. Okay. Well, how did that one hit him? <laughs> they, there's a margin of error, which I appreciate, because I am a little shaky myself. It allows you to be drunk and play. <laughs> that guy's awful. <laughs> I'm going to fire him when he gets behind cover. He'll not suspect that. I stole his horn. <laughs> Finally get to show that off. Because, you know, we need <laughs> to steal them now. Because we're running out. It's only because you know if it's in a chest. At least when it's on their belt. We know why it's there. That's like having a tumbleweed in the chest. I'm like, <laughs> who decided this would be worth safekeeping? That right there, I'm just lowering that down for later. You can see in that little hole down there. Uh, we use that to get back up from a uh, room down below. And the only the only real reason for that is to hit the time shift stone. But of course, we need to reopen it. I imagine after seeing that close in, you're just like, <sighs> <laughs> Well, I had a lot of things to kill, so I was happy. <laughs> they distracted me like, here's some murder fodder. As long as you know what you're doing, this dungeon isn't too tedious. I'd love to see a person actually climb a ladder like that. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably exhausted by the time he gets to the top. I like how having that little zoom feature kind of gives it that, like, that owl eye scope thing from Twilight Princess. Maybe not to the huge extent like that, but still a bit of a zoom. It is a little bit annoying that he automatically uh, uh, aims in the direction of the camera, not in the direction that is model is facing. I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> oh, I'm getting sick heights. That's a lot of a goblins. Not even gonna bother. <laughs> That's not fair. We're pirates. I know a thing about fair. <laughs> I kind of went kind of stood like, I'm okay now. Wow. Legendary hero. <laughs> now you're showing off. Don't have to look. Don't even have to. No. I'd say I was, but I, I legitimately don't remember what I was doing there. <laughs> showing off, exactly. <laughs> Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. <laughs> so that'd be. But see, I would make that mistake and just jump right down back to the bottom again. Like, oh, God damn it. All over again. And it's reopened, and now we can get back down and explore the uh, sand ship as it should be. Weep. Weep. Foo weep. Did he just turn on that taser machine right there? <laughs> You're not getting out of here alive! That's another one of those things that activates in the past. <laughs> you tried me on a pirate ship too, you ass. <laughs> well, it's his ship. Can you shoot him? No. He just catches the bow in midair. Haha! <laughs> of course, going down back to the bottom the way we came, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you just do that before? Okay, never mind. No, actually, I'm going uh, further all the way to the back of the ship. There's a heart piece back there. Oh, okay. I think that's... Whoa! Okay, that works. Okay, so... <laughs> and legs are shorter now. <laughs> <laughs> I 
this can make me ignore my excruciating pain. It heals me. And I think there's another one of these. What are we gonna draw today, Link? <laughs> Happy little tree. <laughs> Let's see this beautiful tree you draw. I don't remember what I draw. Tree. Oh, yes. I get a little drunk Triforce. A nose? Oh. Drawing a Triforce releases some fairies. So we'll see if this actually works. Somebody tells me it won't. It did. What the fuck? <laughs> All right. Clearly, they, they, they thought it was like, what if we have kids? Kids are really bad at everything, so <laughs> they got to have some leeway with this. This game was kind of made for kids. And yet it can be fucking hard at places. And yet it's full of it's situations where you murder groups of goblins and babies. You've, cored, you've killed scores of babies. Not a single flinch on your end. This game really doesn't know what it's trying to do. <laughs> that should be on the thread title. <laughs> Skyward Sword. It doesn't know what it's trying to do. <laughs> but see, in my personal opinion, if I had to play a game where I had to kind of almost like... It's almost like replaying a dungeon again. If the mechanics are pretty much the same. I mean, the... Clearly, this one's got more of the bow and arrow emphasis, but the whole time stone elements and things like this is like, eh. and the enemies are the same. Yeah, I was sick of the time shift stone after the mining facility. At least I had an arrow to do this. Well, not that, but it's <laughs> like I thought you were happy about that for some reason. Get away! Yeah, I did it. Oh. <laughs> Something very cruel about that. <laughs> Caught in midair. Cruel, but satisfying. And they're clearly nearsighted, too. How the thought you could just swing a, a sword once and destroy eight barrels? What? Oh. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I was about to say, it's like, I can take it. <laughs> My brain's gone, but... Fee, I already know. So there's an example of one of the greats to hit the time shift stone. Makes me wonder if the entire ship... Uh, model is active every time you go into a room. He just goes, look at this! Thanks. And every time you see one of those little prongs, that means there's a laser there in the past. The vines just come out of nowhere. Vines always make look think like they're ancient and nature's taken over, which doesn't make any sense when everything's covered in sand. Well, it doesn't make sense when they... It looks like they've taken over in a perfect square. Nature's unpredictable, I suppose. I'm not going to cover the back of this game. This game is just not as good. I'm not nearly as interested. <laughs> <laughs> I thought because I thought the like the Bacoblin stuff looked actually decently cool in Twilight Princess. They look silly in this one. They look like they should be in Labyrinth. <laughs> Here's an example of Ban. Can't get anything through there. That was Link's biggest fan. <laughs> Gunshot. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! No dodging now. And by opening it early, I can avoid those guys on the other room. Very clever in breaking the rules. Thank you. So obviously you gotta make it through that and live. Yeah. <laughs> Master, look at the thing you just saw in the past that you're not in front of. It was very much Galaxy Quest, you know. Of course. Actually, I watched, I saw Galaxy Quest, and I, I was always confused by how the um, old footage they used. Clearly, the things are going really slowly, and there's like five feet in between each one, and yet when they got to the chompers, it's like tunnel of death. <laughs> oh, hi, guys. I like how they're just hanging out in an empty room. Any minute now. Any minute we'll have something to do. He's shot, like, right through his piercing. <laughs> he just applauds you. Do it again, okay. 
They're not much into furnishing on this ship. Kind of bare bones. They're robots. What are they gonna sit on? Anything? Robo chairs. <laughs> Recharging ports. <laughs> There's just these USB sticks on the ground that they sit on. I like the barbershop stick hanging up the boat. <laughs> And with that, I can get onto the lifeboat and get back up. <laughs> like the zany point. Ugh, arrow. I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> I like that stiff link arm holding the bow. <laughs> that mm. way. This way. <laughs> I like how the um, gear thing is like an eye. Yeah. Which is weird because he's continually shooting a thing in the eye. I just imagine a barbershop quartet of those bokoblins running up <laughs> for that <laughs> pole there. Hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like cartoon sound when he opens that. It's like, what? <laughs> What's the point of that, really? Couldn't you just jump down to that boat? Uh, probably. I think it would hurt. <laughs> oh no. There isn't just a room full of hearts. These pirates are awful, by the way. If they end up having, you know, all this booty they have, and all it really is is like hearts and arrows. And they use arrows to get the booty anyway, to get more arrows. <laughs> think about that for a minute. Because you only need a minute. In the 90s, they made commercials about that. <laughs> Trust me, I was there. <laughs> Turning on engine room two, for some reason they built an episode. Oh, we're turning it off. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Quit stabbing the machinery. <laughs> That's Felix too. Did your mother just teach you manners? Oh wait, you're an orphan. <laughs> you're a bitch, V. <laughs> At least that's what I want you to think. Hi, honey. <laughs> then the hi, honey, and then all the four of the barbershop. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. <laughs> happy, happy, happy birthday to you. I'm the biological. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Shooting gallery? Oh no, just the one. Aww. Maybe they're all staying in a row and you shoot one arrow and it hits all of them. Like a shish kebab. I'm sure this makes this enemy easy. A good bit. When he's facing me. Just wait. This way, dick bag. Yeah. <laughs> the enemy was easy anyway. I like, I like their mouth spasms of defiance when they die. <laughs> Don't go quietly into the net. <laughs> that was really the cliffhanger. <laughs> Hello. I think there's. Hello. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> no, there's. <laughs> I don't see a picture of these guys. I know I request art a lot, but I do want to see the barbershop quartet of uh, Bacoblins. <laughs> You have to have those barbershop mustaches, too. I, I was thinking earlier today how, like, in Bomberman Hero, we made a with lyrics version of Redial. Maybe we'll do, like, a barbershop quartet song for this thread. <laughs> for the Bacoblins? It'd be worse that the very end was Fee. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. <laughs> 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 With that screamy face. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Ah! <laughs> so, yeah, by uh, turning on those engines early, uh, you get some new dialogue with the little robots. Because usually you would go down there, see them, and then they'd tell you to go and do all of that. But go do that. He just did it. Oh. <laughs> Got nothing else to say to you. I'm an NPC after all. Thinking about it, I probably could have just 
come down here instead of going up to them? You know, we gotta try everything at least once. <laughs> Cassette face is not amused. <laughs> mixtape god must listen. <laughs> I have made a mixtape in the past. <laughs> That's only when they're valid. <laughs> be funny when you get the time stone it turns into a CD <laughs> or an iPod this right here is a se little secret not a well hidden one but a bit of a that was, secret that leap was kind of a scream of fear <laughs> um, this is actually a room adjacent to the boss door so if we look <laughs> you know <laughs> have I used any of these yet you're collecting them uh, down to four so so, yeah, it's mostly just treasures and rupees in here. Which is cool to me, because after each dungeon, I got a lot of collection to do, and usually I have to go get ripped off by Beetle, so... Why? <laughs> what a fucking waste of time. It's like, there's putting those things in a chest, and there's hoarding them. Why don't you just use one? I want to know how we could use some of these... Like, I'd like to know how we could use an evil crystal in normal, everyday use. I'd like to you just line up all those monster horns one after the other. Just all, all of them at once and blow, and <laughs> you call that one god monster. It would be awesome using the uh, Lizelfo's tail as a mace. <laughs> Did you ever see the picture that I put on my Facebook of, uh, of Groose with the Gangnam style thing? I don't think I did. I'll have to show you that picture later. It's him screaming at Zelda's butt in that Gangnam style thing. But, ah. I have seen that picture. It's great. That person has a tumbler, and it's actually really funny. I am I am convinced that if I ever go to a con and I have the costume ready for it, I am going to dress as Groose. <laughs> I may have to shave my beard, though, shit. And put on gold lipstick. I can, I'll, I'm willing to do that. I can always wipe them off when I don't want anymore. <laughs> Almost me this. Sometimes I go to those cons of network, and if I show up in Groose gear, it's totally ruined. <laughs> hey, I know my lips are shiny, but I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> <laughs> Even better, I would get someone to dress like that, and then and the, um, I would go up behind him with the instrument, just going. <laughs> <laughs> You know you can walk up and talk to me to my face. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Look at you start losing his balance there for a minute. Uh, did you just throw that key at you? <laughs> did you just make it appear? <laughs> there, where we poke our finger. <laughs> I'm getting out of here, Verm. Are you calling me a worm in German? <laughs> I'm getting... <laughs> this is so ridiculous. <laughs> it, it almost looks like they have really tiny wheels. And there was just the one. What the hell happened to the others? <laughs> I had to eat them to survive. I mean, come on, obviously. <laughs> one of us has to be the woman, and I vote me. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> I knew you guys would point at me regardless, so I thought I'd save you the trouble. I actually am a woman. No. I call dibs. <laughs> From here, it looks like you have a penis. Now deal with it. I know I have cataracts. <laughs> I don't. For some reason, the land doesn't look as beautiful as I expected. Because I'd imagine more kind of a paradise, like an oasis look. But the water looks like an ocean for some reason. Well, it basically is. And somehow it all turned to sand. <laughs> it does kind of fall apart when you think about it like that. <laughs> the water all dried up, therefore sand. Maybe it's like a salt lake or something. So much salt that it maybe it's not actually sand, it's salt. And that's why it's all yellow. 
Y yeah, garlic salt. <laughs> oh, fucking <laughs> cobblers respawn. How did this lick all become garlic flavored? <laughs> I mean, garlic and salt, that, that's a good combo, but why? I was cooking, we were camping, wanted to make something tasty, I spilled <laughs> it on the floor. Ah! Oh, that was my cue. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no, that was supposed to be at the end of the song, Fee. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting better, right? No. <laughs> I just Fee imagine doing that dancing while like doing the little hat tap on top of her head. No, just, just you're not helping your case here, Fee. <laughs> I have to go back out and turn off the time shift stone. This doesn't seem tedious in the least, yeah. It's really not. I, I was just stupid. I think I'll take another one. Why not? <laughs> Can you fight him with the claw shots again? Uh, no. I don't think so. They're making the tools worse! Well, there aren't many uh, games where the claw shots are weapons. Well, Twilight Princess did it well, I guess. It's just weird to have that to where, you know, in a later game, they get rid of some kind of cool functionality like that. Well, the claw shots were only effective weapons against, like, the keys. You should just work on everything. I don't need a sword anymore. <laughs> I have rocket punch that hits everything. Kill the babies. In a corner where they can't escape. <laughs> that doesn't seem wrong, hero. <laughs> My little pots. Since they have these little pots on the corner. Did you make this yourself, baby scorpion? <laughs> <laughs> that was me charging up the slow way. I don't know why. Quickly. <laughs> My knee. Then accidentally hit the switch. Oh, Lord. And I'm disoriented because I'm still in first person. <laughs> Yeah, that Beamus is laughing at me. That's even creepier that they can laugh. Robot finds humor in this. Ha ha. Yar har har. Next up, hang him. <laughs> that wasn't fair what you did. <laughs> I didn't know it was Halloween. <laughs> See, now I just imagine all the BMOs talking like Homestar Runner. <laughs> Why did you shoot me? <laughs> ow, yo, who my owl? Hey, stay over there. <laughs> <laughs> just giving you more chances to show off. Of course. You kill one of them, just one of them goes, Go! We do, boy, yo! Big brother! <laughs> Big brother! <laughs> we do boy you! <laughs> <That's not not. laughs> this room's a dick. It really is. Haha. -ha. It's like the dragon from the first game. <laughs> yeah, smart to me, brother. Hi, <laughs> climb off my and... See if that works the mouth flaps here. Nope. What the fuck? <laughs> Disappeared into nothingness. We do boy, yo! Kinda did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> that looks like a chest of intimidation. <laughs> open me if you dare. <laughs> open me, I'll open you. <laughs> Look at this! Look at it! Conjecture. Master, I've seen the- I've found a thesaurus! <laughs> Sir, you keep a dictionary in the hilt of your sword! He's a hunk. <laughs> We're going steady. <laughs> I just imagine her doing that to try to make you jealous. 
You're not dating me, so, so I found this other hunkier guy. Dictionary. You might have heard of him. Last name Webster. <laughs> Face the wrong way. Just because. Because <laughs> you're in timeout. <laughs> yeah. One of these things is not like the other. One of these things is completely pointless to do. So, uh... <laughs> Almost there. Almost. There we go. Sir, you need to conjecture more. You don't even know what that word means, do you? <laughs> Gravity. <laughs> Just imagine her crying in a pillow. Ah, he called me on it. Here we go. This is the first boss fight that has nothing to do with the dungeon. What? It's a giant squid attack. Oh no, I got why I'm stuck and whatever. <laughs> I, I like that you just leave. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have to go all the way back, but now we have to fight off a bunch of tentacles. Master, I find this somewhat erotic. Don't cut them. There's an 80% ch chant the fucking shut up, V. <laughs> it's like, I was gonna make a joke, but then I was just, I got sick of her before I could think of it. <laughs> There's an 80% chance of scattered showers. <laughs> <laughs> and we have to use the uh, Skyward Strike, but we can't, like, stab or do, um, we could probably do the upward spin attack, but I don't think we do, do the sideways one. Look how that suddenly flooded and stopped. Yeah. Flood? Oh, okay, stop. Eh, barrels. Where they were keeping them, I don't know. The gorilla's holding onto it and throwing it at you. <laughs> Ow, dick! I mean, don't think of that when I'm cutting this, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, if you take travel on our ship, don't miss our endless pit in our boat. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely worth a view. There's an eighty percent chance that you're already dead. Wait. <laughs> okay, odds are in your favor. Stop cutting my boyfriend. Look at that. Make all necessary preparations before leaving. There is nothing else I can do. I was about to say, just breathe for a minute. <sighs> okay, ready. I don't know if the chair is still in there, but it's blocked off by a huge gap, so I couldn't get there anyway. <gasps> oh, that was a shock. <gasps> so, uh, did you see Scaldera in the second dungeon? Yes. Here's his cousin. <laughs> I'm gonna steal your voice, princess. This is Tentalis. He is the most ridiculous looking boss. He had, when you look everyone says he looks like something out of Monsters Inc. It's not even a joke. It's so true. It just cuts all intimidation he might have out. Under the sea. Under the sea. Stealing from Disney. Oh shit, they sued me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, after cutting a few of his tentacles, he will jump out of the water and reveal an eye, and if I could actually aim, I could shoot him before he get a chance to do anything. Uh, hitting him with an arrow will make him drop, then I can go up and attack him uh, with a sword, and rinse and repeat. This is just blatant ridiculous. It's pretty ridiculous. It's pretty ridiculously blatant. <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo, you owe money to somebody. That didn't work. Those tentacles will grab you. That has an example. I like how you're just flailing around. <laughs> Let go! I'm pretty sure if you don't break free, they pull you down and it's game over. So you have to Jerry Lewis out of them, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. I got really lucky. Usually I'm not this good at aiming and getting him in the eye. 
which I don't know if I get him in this shot, but he gives me a chance. Yay. You can, um... You can also destroy the tentacles up front that look kind of like hair, but you can go right under them anyway, so it doesn't matter. If you're someone like Kratos, you just throw, like, just do a body slam on him. <laughs> and with every round, the tentacles become... or they come up a lot faster, and more of them come up from right under you. So it's basically like a whack-a-mole kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Just your life's on the line. More than whack-a-mole, I should say. Stab a calamari. <laughs> they look delicious. Where do I aim it? That was too early. I got lucky there. I mean, I, one thing I'll give props to this is it does have better music than Twilight Princess, but it's this is starting to get silly. <laughs> oh, just you wait. It's time for round two. Now he's knocking down very specific sections of the ship. Barrel attack! He stuffs himself in the suit of armor and is just squishing out of all sides. <laughs> <laughs> so in the second form, if you can call it that, he sends his hair after me. I want to quickly get him in the eye, which I do, but look, if you saw up in the corner, his uh, tentacles are coming out after me with teeth, and he's sliding away from me. <laughs> it's so weird to walk up to someone and start slashing their eye and be okay with it. Very disturbing. Here they come. Luckily, we don't need a Skyward Strike these. Just stab them as they are. Just swing wildly. <laughs> I just look like, that was really neat! <laughs> Those touches. And that was Tentalis. <laughs> and that was Soli. I mean, shit, that was Muriel with the shit. <laughs> Under the shit. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> I killed Mike Wazowski. <laughs> That was a piece of pizza for a minute. <laughs> He's that high up, I was just like, yum. <laughs> he just jumps up and bites um. There was an 80% chance you should have shared that. And no what luck. Sacred Flame is right there. <laughs> right in your face. Because, you know, you need more health. <laughs> well, I do. Especially when I have no shield. True. I mean, it's, like, they should trade up. If you can't, don't have a shield, you should be able to, like, dual wield or something. That would be cool. It wouldn't just be cool, it'd be awesome. <laughs> this is basically the exact same cutscene as before. Like, all the animations are exactly the same. It's just the flame is different, and what uh, the sword, or what gets added to the sword is different. It's funny if she turns around and her face is all burnt up. <laughs> See, I found it! Ow! <laughs> Where the fuck did she go? Thank God she's gone now. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that! I tried to hurt you! <laughs> Why is it constantly like she's attacking him? I don't know. He's an evil bitch. They had to find some way to make this cutscene interesting. Yay, it's bluer. Hey. You can swim now, wait. <laughs> I like how it has a fishtail on it now. Yeah. And with that, um, we can get more uh, things to douse for. Um, they don't immediately give us those things, though. We have to um, basically just find them 
and in very specific points, Fee will say, hey, I can douse for this, and then he can start dousing for them. Like um, treasures, additional hearts, and uh, gratitude crystals. Some more Triforce love. Mm-hmm. Do you want me to dance for you? I mean, I can. <laughs> he looks kind of disappointed by that. <laughs> I will play the harp with your sword. Will that work? <laughs> Broke it. <laughs> <laughs> Can't <you> dance to dance with that now. <laughs> Throws it on the ground, spits on it. <laughs> Just walks away. <laughs> play that. <laughs> God, I have an attitude. Fee with an attitude. There's an 80% chance that nobody likes you. Fee with <laughs> attitude. For some reason, I was thinking of a jingle there. <laughs> <laughs> was it in Bukoblin Quartet? <laughs> it should be. Fee has attitude. Fee has. She's a bitch. <laughs> oh, she's a bitch. She's a bitch. Oh, she's a bitch. <laughs> Chihuahua. <laughs> Woo -hoo. That'd be most, the most shrill quartet ever. <laughs> but they, they have to have one voice that sounds completely off. <laughs> hello, 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 guten tag. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello, hey. 